Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video and to one of my favorite videos to make every single year because today I'm officially opening suggestions for 25 Days of Suggestions 2025. 25 Days of Suggestions is a series that I've been doing ever since I started my channel back seven years ago in 2017, meaning that this year, 2024, will be the eighth annual 25 Days of Suggestions, which is honestly crazy to think about that we've been doing it for this long. It's such a big part of my year every single December now, and it's something that I always look forward to, and I hope you guys look forward to it as well. I am super excited to return to 25 Days of Suggestions, and I'm so excited to finally open up suggestions a bit later than usual this year just because of how late Thanksgiving was. I always try to wait until after Thanksgiving to announce it, but Thanksgiving was, was the 28th this year, um, but I wanted to do it as soon as I could after Thanksgiving to make sure that you guys have enough time to leave your suggestions for 25 days. Now, for those of you who don't know how 25 days of suggestions works, it's pretty simple. Every day leading up to Christmas, and then finally, with one last episode on Christmas Day, I review one car every single day. So every day leading up until Christmas, and then again, we also include Christmas Day. So it's 25 days of suggestion reviews all throughout December. Suggestion reviews, because all the cars I review are chosen by you guys. You can leave a comment down in the comment section of this video letting me know what car you would like to see me review for 25 days of suggestions. Then I take all the suggestions that I get and I put them into a random name picker website which chooses one every single day, meaning that the reviews are completely randomly selected. You guys don't know when things will be reviewed or which things will be reviewed, and neither will I. I don't know until the minute I press that button, and it's one of the things that makes the series so exciting for me. I don't know what's being reviewed every day, and it kind of keeps me on my toes, and it keeps it really fun and interesting. Every day is a brand new review. I always love doing suggestion reviews. It gets me uh, to take a look at cars that I usually wouldn't review. You know, usually I'm reviewing cars that are new or maybe older releases that I've recently added to my collection, like poor Shifty here who's been hanging out <laughs> on the side of my my videos, ready to be my next review for, for quite a while. So it's always really fun. Now there are a few rules for what cars you can suggest. Up first, these are the typical rules. If you've seen the announcements for this series before, you already know them. But for those of you who aren't familiar, you can only suggest one car per person. That car can be any item in my collection. 155 scale diecasts, mini racers, Disney store cars, customs as well. Um, but there are a few stipulations. Up first, it can't be a car that I've reviewed in the last year. So if I've reviewed the item in 2024, you can't suggest it. You also can't suggest it if it's a new release that's currently out on shelves, because the chances are that I will likely review that new release when it's out. You know, it has to be a car I own. Obviously, I, I, I can't go out and, and purchase an item specifically for 25 to suggestions, but it has to be something that's already in my collection. And it also can't be an item that's on my Final 50 list. The Final 50 is a series that I started a few years back where I review every car in my collection that I've never reviewed before. And although I haven't made an episode of that series in quite a while, I still rule out the Final 50 cars from the list just uh, in case I choose to bring the series back. I don't want it to mess up the flow because if I review one of them here, well, then it's no longer 50 cars being reviewed in Final 50. So the Final 50 cars are these that you see on screen here. So you can't suggest these cars, but other than that, any item in my collection is fair game. I, I don't mean the character fair game from Cars 3. I mean, you can, you can suggest anything else. One last thing I'd like to establish. I mention this every year, but there are still several people who comment it every year. You can't claim a day for your review to happen. You can't ask for your car to be reviewed on a specific day of the month. As I've already established, I use a completely random name generator to choose which car gets reviewed. And if your item doesn't get picked, Obviously, that's nothing against you. It is completely random chance. And as the channel gets bigger and I get more and more comments, of course, there, there's a more likely chance that maybe you won't get picked. But again, if you don't, it's not a... It's nothing against the commenter, obviously. It is completely random. So I hope you respect that. That's just how the, the system works for this. But with all that said and done, I really look forward to seeing what cars you suggest for this year. This is always so exciting for me kind of gives me a preview of what I could be taking a look at over the next month, and I'm so excited for it. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time, and feel free to suggest a car in the comments. Bye now.